Pete Malinowski and I'm the aquaculture instructor at New York Harbor School. New York Harbor School is a public high school located on Governor's Island. We have a, it's a normal region school with all your standard classes and in addition to that um, there are career training classes in marine fields. I teach aquaculture, there's also vessel operations, marine systems, scientific scuba diving, marine resource management, and marine um, science and research. Designing our curriculum around a restoration project, in this case it's uh, oyster restoration. Oysters, historically, um, New York Harbor is full of oysters. They're native species and we've managed to kill all of them. So what we, we're trying to do at Harbor School is to restore oysters to New York Harbor. So we grow them, grow oysters in a lab and an upland facility on, at our school and grow them in New York Harbor and eventually seed them on reefs around the harbor. Um, it's a way that we teach the science of aquaculture as well as some uh, research skills to, to our students through a relevant restoration project. And uh, here to tell you more about the project are the people who are actually doing the work. Um, these guys are rising seniors at New York Harbor School. My name is Alimar. I'm a student at the New York Harbor School. And the New York Harbor School is part of the Oyster Restoration Project in which we're trying to restore the water quality of New York Harbor. And in history from the past, we used to have a lot of oysters in our water and now they're all gone due to over harvesting and a lot of pollutions in the water which killed, practically killed them. So what our school is doing is we're trying to restore everything back. Oysters are filter feeders, so what they do is they filter out every to uh, the toxins in the water over time. So what, that's what we're trying to do with, with the oyster restoration project. Um, hi, my name is Patricia Tapia. What I would say is the most important process of the restoration project would basically be to produce more oysters, so that would be the spawning process. We start off by spawning um, the oysters in our lab, and from that point we continue to take care of them until we take them to our remote setting facility where we um, help the oyster larvae set on shells, and from that point they're taken to the eco dock where they continue to grow. And so we are going to take a walk down to our eco dock right over there where we keep most of our oysters. Dock, and this is basically where we keep all of our oysters. Um, once they get to a certain size, we move them into nets, and then they, keep, they, they continue growing in nets. Once our oysters reach a certain size, we take them out to one of our five reef sites, and from that point, they will continue growing. And we'll continue um, disease testing and monitoring the water and checking the quality. Hi, I'm Tatiana Bo, which is also a student at the Harvard School, and the classroom experience, and basically like having the classroom and doing what you're doing in class like a hands-on experience with the oysters rather than just sitting there with like a book and a pen and reading about oysters you actually get to work with them hi my name is jonathan um, i'm a volunteer in harbor Corps, and what we do is um we do like the heavy duty stuff we the ones really the ones that get dirty so we're pulling them out the water so that um they can monitor them and uh, take records and stuff like that and I'm here we're here um, working every Saturday basically and just trying to get voices all over New York City okay so that's that's the project um, our long-term goal is over the next 50 years to put a billion live oysters back in the water a billion oysters would filter the standing volume of New York Harbor, which is about 74 billion gallons, once every three days. So our hope that by putting oysters back in the water will um, clean the water and provide the necessary habitat, foraging and nursery habitat for different fish species that spawn here and return the, uh, the Hudson River back to what it used to be like. And, and in the process, we hope to educate the next generation of environmental activists and scientists that will go on to become stewards of their waterways.